What's up everybody, welcome back to uh, Last Dead of Survival. So I'm here on the pay to play account. It's not even really pay to play account, it's just the account that I have put money into, but don't all the time. Anyway, back on this account and I've been raided, but I just wanted to show you all quickly what I'm doing to my base. So after all of my walls just getting destroyed, I took out the foundations that had, that had no walls on them and I've begun work just shrinking my base down to this center area. So I'm having it as the big metal, I think it's going to be what, a 9x9? Nine nine? Yeah, big metal, 9x9, nine nine. obviously not those rooms yet. And it's going to be surrounded by two layers of stone all the way around. So when the metal cutter is added, they'll still have to break through one stone wall, two stone wall, metal wall. And hopefully by then they'll remove the truck so I can actually finish this because that is so annoying and it's ruining my base. But I have been raided, they took some gun parts from me so I'm going to head out on a raid. I think there's less than an hour left of the raid because I logged into it this morning and then went out for the day. Went out to look at some furniture because we we're moving house and then had lunch in a nice little cafe and decided that's where we were girlfriend are going for our anniversary in September. Right, so we are going to raid Ridger. I, hope I haven't scouted the base or anything yet, know absolutely nothing about it. I've got some C4 on me and I've got metal hatchets because I'm using all of my wood to rebuild the base. Right then. First up, let's take a look at the base. Oh, there's a... Uh, oh, I freed their deer by accident. Oh well. Right, so, I know from the stream yesterday that even if a base has twig walls, don't leave behind the C4. So at this point, I would normally go and drop off my C4, but I was raiding the base on stream yesterday, it was twig all the way around the outside, broke in, and then there was a stone base inside. Luckily, I hadn't dropped off the C4. However, it looks like in this case, it is just going to be a bad base. Hmm. Oh, there's a dead body in there. I wonder, are we able to loot dead bodies yet? Yeah, this is a bit on the disappointing side. I was hoping to get something... Oh, and I just broke their workbench through a wall. I guess that's cool. Apparently that bug is back and you can break things through walls again. That's going to make breaking that wall a little bit more difficult. Because it's going to automatically lock on to the workbench. Now, yeah, that's a nine. It's got to go this way then. Definitely break... Yeah, definitely breaking that. Okay. No, I don't want to... There we go. Does this person have any loot in their base at all? Was that just all of their loot? Here we go. This is a little bit better. Right. Well, I'll say it's a, yeah, it is a little bit better, but... Um... I can take some brick. I'd much rather wood over brick, so if there's a ton of wood in here, I'll happily divest them of that. Uh, don't really need any of that. That and we got the next wave. Right, so we are currently at 78% towards the new trait. I've been told that it just resets back to zero, which will be a little bit disappointing if it does. But we'll find out maybe this raid, maybe the next raid. No, don't start hacking away at the wall. Hey, that's what I wanted. Hey, and this is what they took from me. Five. I accidentally took a donated turret parts, not gun parts. Ah, well. It's not like I need them anyway. Let's drop off all of this and... Perfect. Right, have I opened this box? No. Right, now, question is, has that room over there actually got any loot in it? I'm taking the red ticket because... I barely ever actually go and clear out the bunker, but need red tickets. Okay, that's where their furnace is. Ooh, it doesn't look like I've broken into this corner chest. I uh, don't want to take any of that. Right, here we go. Another wave of zombies. Right, I want to test something. Can I... Oh, that's a nine. Hmm, I wonder. Can I... Can I let them all in and then trap them in here? 
Come on, in through the door. Ah, I have just trapped myself in here. Right, now if I run this way. Are they trapped in there? I believe they are. <laughs> well, that, that's just mildly amusing. Oh, my armor's about to break. Okay. Yep, there goes the armor. Um. <laughs> it's just stuck in the door. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Step out the door just to get shot point blank in the face of a sniper rifle. That can't be pleasant. Right, I'm actually going to put them on. There we go. We have some armor at least. Why have I been given this base to raid? They really need to work on the system a bit. I should not be getting bases like this to raid. That's where their radio is. Oh, apparently I'm opening this. Does that mean I'm not going to be able to break that wall? I think it might. See, now, why does opening the garden bed increase noise? What is the sense in that? Pulling up a few carrots makes enough noise. Makes a load of noise, apparently. There we go, okay. Right, uh, let's, let's go for the Holy Grail here. Have they got any steel in here? No, it's completely empty. Is anybody surprised? Because I'm not. Come on, they haven't even started on their chopper. This person has not been out raiding. Literally haven't put anything in their chopper. Why am I being given this base to raid? <sighs> in case you couldn't tell, I'm a little bit salty. Right, let's drop that off. Drop these off, and I'll see what else I can find in this base. See if there's anything worth taking. I think that was empty, yeah. Hmm. Could kill that deer. The deer might actually give me something useful. Right. What was in this woodwork bench? Oh, great. Now the big one's coming. Um, I'm just going to get some stone. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, I can get around him. Well, that was unnecessarily stressful. All that for a couple of bricks. Right, well. That is one of the worst raids I've had in a while. Probably still better than the one I had yesterday. Oh, yeah. The um, farm update has literally come out about three seconds before I started recording. So the farm cooldown is now 48 hours, for those wondering. But I think I'm just going to end the video here. Haven't got anything else to do. Actually, you know what? I've got a floppy disk. I can go and unlock a floppy disk. So I'll be back in a sec. Alright, finally in the bunker. I say finally, it's been like a couple minutes. But it's hot in my room and I want to open the window up again. Alright, perfect. How close am I actually to getting another blueprint? Uh, I need to give him three weak blueprints in order to get possibly one that I already have. Alright, floppy disk time. I think main thing I want out of a floppy disk, I would like to get a lens just so I can finish off the bow blueprint. I'm working on the X2 site for the bow as well as the compound bow just because they look cool so I thought I'd give it a go and I actually haven't found a single good blueprint for a string for the bow yet which is annoying. I want the string that increases the damage but that's the, actually I think it's the two best ones. Hey, perfect. Alright, so we've got... Um, let's go to the airdrop first, and then we'll head up to the floppy disk. Almost forgot what it was called there. Whew. It is really hot in here. I think it's something like 26 degrees today, something like that. It's just been non-stop heat. We had a good couple of days of rain the other day, but now it's back to sunny. Literally, the bottom quarter of the country's country is sunny and that's right where I live. So it's nice but it's also too hot and makes my computer overheat all the time. It'd be nice if I could get a few bits of armour out of this actually. Right. Oh actually, you know what, you can get lenses in airdrops. So I, oh yeah, I think this is a bone handle machete that I'm using. Let's take a look. Parang blade, bone handle. Whee! And nothing that good. Okay. 
Right, is that going to aggro? Yeah, it is. Okay. So I only realised this yesterday. The zombies only aggro on you if they're within this circle. If you smell a little bit, it's within this circle. No. Uh, yeah, and if you smell a lot, it's also within that circle. I think. Something like that. No, I think it's if you smell a little bit, it's the outer circle. I'm doing this the wrong way around, aren't I? Yeah, I am. I know what I meant. I'll explain it in a second. Right. Okay, let's load in so I can see the map in the top corner. Right, so for those that didn't know, I'm going to kill this toxic abomination. Although you probably did know that. There we go. Alright, so most of the time, zombies will only aggro on you if they're inside this circle. However, if you've got the little smelling thing, where you've got the yellow smelling symbol, they aggro on you within this circle, and if you smell a lot, then it's within this circle. Which is cool, I never knew that, I always thought it was just completely random. Right, what have we got, normal box? Yeah, normal box. It, why is it up here? I swear it's always in the top corner, in um, the centre. That's strange. What are we getting? Hey, we got a lens. I'll take that. And um, I'm going to leave behind this and this and that. Take the 2C4 and the lens. Perfect. Actually, I can do that and take... Hang on. Do that. I can take that as well and I uh, might as well take them. I'll take that as well. Alright, thanks for watching people. I'll see you all next time. Adios.